Hi folks, today we're aboard the Scout 281 XSS and I'm here with Alan Lang from Scout Boats. And we're gonna talk a little bit about the features of this boat. I, my first impression is really, really good. It's a boat that combines fishing and family functions. It's fast and I think you're really gonna like it. Alan, uh, good to talk to you here. Tell us a little bit about it. Thanks, Jim. Um, we have tons of fishing space on the boat, tons of seating, lounge areas up front to really make the fishermen happy or the family. Tell us a little bit about the fishing functions of this boat. Well, we've got a huge casting deck up front, anchor windless if you want to do some bottom fishing, marie fishing. Moving back, you've got lots of lounge areas, cup holders, rod holders everywhere. I believe we have 12 standard rod holders on the deck, not including the rocket launchers if you get that as an option. Um, you've got tons of bait well storage, fish box storage, rear casting deck, tackle boxes all over the place. Good protection with this three-sided, you know, acrylic windshield here, hard top, so ready to fish, uh, ready to go. So I'm really impressed with the bait system here on this boat. It's got an acrylic top and an acrylic side, kind of like an aquarium. That is really cool, and I know Scout's known for its detail work, putting excruciating attention into the details of the boat. Tell us a little bit about the construction. I noticed that the lining of the hatches are carbon fiber. Tell us about that a little bit. Yeah, so we incorporate carbon fiber, you know, for strength and also a little bit of weight reduction. It also gives it that pretty look. This one happens to be a carbon addition. So when you open up the lids on this boat, you can actually see the carbon underneath them. So it gives it that nice touch. Yeah, it does, it does. I really love it. I also love the decking that's on this boat. Tell us a little bit about the comfortable features on it, like the lounge up front. I think that's really cool. Yeah, so, you know, we always have the family in mind as well. Up front, you've got an area for four people to lounge back. You know, one on the port, one on starboard, and then two in the center. Uh, the center's contoured to help kind of hold you in. It has armrests, real comfortable seat. And moving back here at the helm where we're standing, you've got leaning posts that convert into seats, high backs, fold down, you know, seats as well with armrests. And of course, back at the stern, you've got a fold up seat that converts that casting deck into a nice rear bench that's you know, real tall, hits you above the shoulder blades. So it gives you that safety and comfort too. Outstanding, and I notice there's tons of storage inside the rear casting deck. Tell me a little bit about that. Yep. So we have uh, fish boxes on either side that can also be used as a bait well. Underneath that center backrest, whenever that backrest folds up, the bottom seat comes up. You have two buckets in there that are removable, so you can put anything you want in those. Um, you've got area to store stuff down in the bilge. There's a panel in there that's easily removable if you ever did have to get all the way down in there to work on anything. And then two uh, hatches in the center. When you open those, you'll notice you'll see two fenders in each. So room for four designated fender holders back there. It's always a problem figuring out where you're gonna stow the fenders. Exactly. And then you've got dedicated storage for those. That's a great detail. Now, this boat is fast. Tell me a little bit about the performance. So with a Mercury Racing 450 on this boat, it hits about mid 60s. We will be offering this boat with dual engines and also lots of other engine combinations. Offshore, inshore, what are the possibilities in terms of fishing with this boat? Anything you wanna do. It's got a very aggressive hull, great speed, very dry ride. Um, everybody that has tested it so far has been blown away by it. So it's really whatever kind of fishing you wanna do or cruising. And it has that scout look too, you know, with the sleek windshield. That's one thing that you'll really notice when you walk up to this boat. You'll see that it has a fiberglass windshield here that also has uh, carbon fiber incorporated into it. So it gives it that real sleek, cool look as well. well. And it's functional. I mean, you have all that weather protection, you know? Oh, it, yeah. If it starts to rain or anything, you just tuck up inside here and you're, you're super comfortable. Tell us about the electronics available on this boat. So this one, we have uh, dual Garmin screens and it, um, it also has a guided user interface. Whenever I press the lights, pumps, or whatever, it lights up on the boat to let me know that they're on. You'll also see on all the scouts now, we have a scout icon that's lit up red, and Very that'll cool. let you know that if there's any power to the boat, that'll be lit up red. Once you have everything turned off, that goes off. 
But if you didn't want to do the dual screens, there is room in here for the new Garmin 24-inch uh, screen. You can do the big one in there. We've got flush mount fusion, dual scan strut phone chargers, and these things, they, they work great. Lots of options here to work with on this dash. I know Scout's always been an innovator when it comes to technology, and this is just one more example of that kind of technological innovation that Scout's known for. Thanks so much, Alan. I appreciate you going through this boat. It's a great boat. I'm anxious to get out and go fishing on it and do some cruising on it and just see how she runs. Thank you so much. And please check us out at scoutboats.com.